Mendix apps, Mendix apps, Mendix all the way. Oh, what fun it is to get a Mendix release now, hey! Christmas came early and Mendix 9.20 brings all the goodies. So let's get this sleigh in the air. First up are some sweet improvements for all you page builders out there, like the often requested feature multi-select widgets. In 9.20, you can select multiple widgets by holding Control or Shift and clicking in Design Mode, Structure Mode, or in the Page Explorer, so you can now easily move widgets around on your pages. If you remember the 9.18 release from two months ago, we added page parameters to make page building easier and more powerful. Based on feedback from the community that it's not always clear which page parameters there are, we added some indicators to show you exactly how many page parameters a page has. And with one click, you can open the Page Parameters dialog to see more details. Great widgets are on the horizon. In fact, one of those great widgets is available right now, the HTML Element widget. This widget lets you create custom HTML elements to build all kinds of structures, visualizations, and interactions. For example, you can use it to do some advanced text formatting, build custom UI components, embed HTML code, and more. So try it out in 9.20 and let us know what you think. On to Mendix Assist and updates from the Performance Bot. When you now open an app in Studio Pro, the Performance Bot automatically runs an inspection and lists the anti-patterns in the Performance Bot inspection pane. The inspection happens in the background, so you can use Studio Pro like normal, without any interruptions. Our goal here is to be more proactive in helping you improve your app's performance by providing insight automatically. And to make the process even smoother, we've optimized performance bot best practices to reduce the inspection times on more complex apps. Based on popular demand from workflow developers, we've added more options to choose what happens when task pages are opened. For example, you can now choose whether you want to auto-assign a task to users who open an unassigned task. This allows them to see the task before accepting it if they set auto-assign to no. Another new option allows targeted users to open the task page even if it's already assigned to another user. This could be useful if you want to let people contribute to a task that someone else is responsible for completing. Both options are available in both the Show User Task Page Microflow activity and the Show User Task Page button and client activity. A nice new little feature lets you export your workflow model as an image. This is especially handy when customers want to document how they work. You can find the Export as Image option in the File menu. Join us in Rotterdam on December 14 for a meetup about building a game and using machine learning and MLKit to build an AI in Mendix. Rico Robinson will dive into the process of building the UI and UX heavy game Connect 4, while Marin Krawl will explain how he built a solid AI to play against. Sign up for this meetup at meetup.com slash mendix community and join us for a beer and pizza at the Mendix office on December 14. Next to these big improvements, we've sprinkled some nice little treats on top, like new shortcuts, resizing dialogues, and improved searching. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on mendix.com slash blog, or read the release notes on docs.mendix.com. Download Studio Pro 9.20 at marketplace.mendix.com to use all of these new features right now. And if you believe Christmas came early with this release, go ahead and like it. And if you didn't, I still wish you happy holidays and a good time with the people you love. I'm Jan Le Fries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in 2023.